we're going to start with the back leg. The, you want to comb right out, make sure there is not a single tag or knot or anything. The comb, that you've, you've been through it with a slicker brush, you've combed it through with the comb. Everything's got to be straight and hanging down. Push everything down. But you want to lift up the leg. I'm just going to move around to this side. You lift up the leg and we're going to just remove the hair from the bottom of the pad. And I'm using the big scissors now because I'm going to take off just roughly, take off quite a bit of the hair from around the pad. And what I do is I, I follow the contour of the pad. The pad is naturally slightly curved. And we just follow that round the edge of the foot. I don't worry too much if it's uh, if you've not got perfect precision round each pad. You just want to make sure that the excess hairs off. But I work round and just follow it round. And then you don't want too much hair at the front of the toe, so just trim round the front so that you've taken any excess hair off. A good, you know, you're leaving a bit of space from the nail. You don't want it too close to the nail. You don't want the nail showing. So we've cleaned that all out. We've cleaned it round, taken any little excess bits off from round the side. Don't bother about the back too much at this stage. Just trimmed it round. And now we're going to start That's the work done as far as off the table. And now we want him standing as though he was in a show pose. All his hair back down, straight as possible. And then we're going to make the first cut. The first cut's the worst cut. And I'm using a little scissors now because it's more precision work. I, l I look above the coat and we don't want anything sticking too far out the side. So I'm going to just work my way around the foot like that. Now that's the most important one. If you go crazy there, you set the standard, as it were, for the rest of the foot because you're going to work your way down towards the floor, moving, inclining as you go ahead. Keep brushing the hair down. Just no matter how much you brush it down, the next time you comb it, there's going to be a few more ends stick up. Bounce the dog just so that the hair's hanging naturally. And we're just going to cut round. Now, we've cleaned off at the side. We're going to just work our way now around the back. I'm going to bring him round so you can just see what I'm doing. Just cutting in a circle around the edge of the foot. and working your way around. Now again, this dog's got a very straight coat, which is wonderful. If you've got a wavy coat, or even worse, if you've got a curly coat, then these legs are quite hard to do. And if you've got a curly coat, you shouldn't really be showing it. Better off in a puppy trim. But a wavy coat's acceptable. But it just means that you can't quite get the finish on the legs. There's not a lot you can do about that. You must blow dry this coat as straight as you possibly can. And uh, when you bath in them and you start to blow dry, you must make sure that before you start trimming that the hair is completely dry. And then, you see, we've got this little bit done, but then we've got this round the stifle hanging too low, and that's too much. We don't want that hair touching the ground. So...
again just brush it all down make sure it's well brushed I'm going to come back round again and I'm just going to cut with the, ang with the scissors at an angle so you're not cutting with them flat you're cutting at an angle round the coat just being a little bit difficult around there following the line of the uh, stifle and that's the back leg right we've finished the back leg now and at the moment this coat's just hanging like a curtain just hanging like a curtain right the way along and we don't want that really because again it's not giving you that streamlined and elegant look it's taking away the elegance of the dog so we want to bring that up in a bit of an angle to meet that. I don't want a great deal off because this dog's already got a bit of clearance on this coat. Just mark it through. I'm just going to use the big scissors just to take some of this stuff from underneath. I'm going to start the front feet now. And when we do the front feet, we're going to actually cut up the back to meet that. So then, again, everything... I can't tell you this whole this, everything's symmetrical everything just needs to flow enhance the elegance of the dog Do everything down and then I like to bring up the leg up behind him like that because I find that you're it, you're not interrupting the hair so much if he'll just stand there you do actually want to get rid of that hair quite sure you don't have to be very careful there just take it off Just only a little bit, about half inch behind there. Because when you start to trim, that bit sticks down. It's quite difficult to trim on the table. Make sure he's really standing on his toes now. Because this is, again, it's quite crucial. It's that cut again. And I'm just going to stand up to do it because I like to, when I'm cutting, that first cut, I like to stand above the dog. And I'm just going to work my way round. Not too much around the foot. So we've given ourselves the marker there now, from which we're going to trim the rest of the foot. And we're going to just follow that. Again, as we go round, we're going to incline the scissor strokes towards the pad as we get closer to the floor. So we're doing it from the top and working down and in. And when we come to doing the inside, you've got to lift the leg up and just follow that uh, follow that line round. The inside of this leg's not again not quite so important. You can't see it. It's just got to be neat and tidy so that you're ensuring that no bits of hair are sticking down. Keeps getting rid of the hair off the table. It only serves to obscure what you're doing. I find I used to trim these feet with big scissors. But uh, these little scissors, I find that you can just get that little bit of extra precision with them. And also, it's quite important that they've got a serrated edge because you can't afford for the hair to sort of move down the blade as you cut and you want it to stay where it is. And if there's a serrated edge, it just grabs it that little bit easier. And there we go. There's the dog. <laughs>